and I believe that this this uh, technology that they that they are uh, coming out with as far as uh, mingling animal DNA with human DNA because they consider uh, people animals, not humans. They are part of the uh, evolution, as they say, and they they believe that that you can. Uh, mingle the DNA of an animal with the DNA of a human. So to me, this, I interpret this as, as the fallen angels having sex with the daughters of men. Um, but I don't, I don't expect to see angelic beings, uh, you know, coming out with wings and, or giants coming out and having sex with, uh, with the uh, daughters of men. But I, I think that they're coming through this uh, portal or this avenue of technology, um, this path or this gateway. They're coming through this gateway uh, through the deception of technology to have intercourse with the, the daughters of men. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. So this is my take on that. And uh, you tell me what you think. You know, this is my opinion. Because we see this as, I know, the nations. It represents this kingdom in the, in the history line. And uh, this other kingdom, the, the golden era, the Babylonian kingdom. And this other, uh, the silver kingdom and the brass kingdom and the metal kingdom. And then the uh, clay and the metal kingdom, you know. Uh, to me, I, I, I see it. You can see it like that, but the way they were translating or interpreting uh, things as they saw it in the spirit realm, uh, these prophets, as they prophesied, as Daniel prophesied, and the king uh, saw these things in his dreams, that he saw the future. And it's most definitely talking about these kingdoms uh, through through what the Bible scholars are talking, uh, what they teach. They teach about uh, certain kingdoms and in this time and era uh, and, and that this prophecy applies to current day events. So here are different articles um, which talk about, you know, a cure for AIDS and a cure for cancer. You know, what, what is infecting the people today? Um, the what is causing cancer, which is the foods we're eating and the uh, the drinks we're drinking, the candy we're eating, and you know a lot of the medication also causes cancer. So a lot of these things are are just you know uh, methods that they use to to uh, cor to kind of corral us like cattle uh, towards uh, an answer. And, and I believe that, that they are using these like a cure for AIDS and a cure for cancer and a cure for other MARSA and other things uh, to inject us with these, uh, in, in, these things into our bodies. Whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. So the Lord is saying that they will try to mingle themselves again with the daughters of men, like as in the days of Noah, that they try to um, create a new species and we see them what appears to be a tampering with DNA by creating a new species, corrupting, contaminating, mixing two different elements that will not be able to bind together. How many individuals will get in line to get a cure for cancer or a cure for AIDS? Many will go down that corridor of deception in order to live a little longer. What does the Bible admonish Christians to do when we are sick? Call the doctors? No. It says in James 5.14, If any sick among you, 
let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. But do Christians trust their doctors more than they trust in God? If you put your trust in man more than God, then men will rule over your mortal bodies instead of God. If you are afraid of disease, then perfect love overcomes fear. Jesus is Lord even over death. Trust in God more than your doctor. Your doctor is not God, but many doctors have taken the place of God and determined who lives and who dies. They take it upon themselves to make that choice and that decision. Abortion is one example. Genocide of the innocent. If they consider you an animal, then what would prevent them from exterminating an animal that is overpopulating, similar to the pythons in Florida? We're not an animal, but are created by the intelligent designer, God, free from alien devices that in the long run our immune system will ultimately reject. Let me know what your opinion is concerning Daniel chapter 2 and the mixing of iron and clay. I am not by any mean, any definition a Bible scholar, but as the technology evolution progresses, we can begin to put the puzzle together and understand 1 Corinthians 13:12. Now we see a blurred image in a mirror, then we will see very clearly now my knowledge is incomplete, then I will have complete knowledge as God has complete knowledge of me. Stay tuned for more Blood High videos. I have a powerful testimony coming soon. Thank you and may God bless you.